Okay, audio setup wizard. Uh, when you first fire up your browser, you will be presented with this little menu. Okay, this is the first time setup. Once you set this up, you're you're good, right? So the first thing we're gonna do is enable microphone access. This allows the browser to access your microphone. So we're just gonna click allow. It says we found your microphone. Okay, we're gonna hit continue. Then it's asking you to select your speakers, right? So if you have multiple speakers, in this case, I have lots of different audio devices on this computer. I got the built-in iMac speakers, um, all kinds of stuff here, a line out, special virtual audio, so on and so forth. And I'm just gonna pick my default iMac speakers built into the uh, computer. There's a little test sound button here if you wanna make sure you know, you're actually, it's actually working. And then we hit continue. And then we can select the specific micro, you know, double check our settings. If we want to make any changes here, we got our um, what microphone we want to use. And I'm going to select this one right here. And as we can see my audio here as I speak, hello, test, one, two, one, two. So we know that the uh, microphone is working. And transmit left channel, right channel, both channels, we'll select both channels and then we'll leave that unchecked for now. And then we can hit done. Okay, and that's it for the audio setup wizard. Now you can double check these settings here, this little microphone here at the top right. And here you can see our settings, our microphone setting and our speaker setting. And as I modulate, you can see a little, little menu here, right? A few other settings here. Um, if you wanna restart the audio setup wizard, you can do that here. Uh, we have an HQ or high quality audio, but this is really just for testing. Um, we use it for sometimes weak signal work, EME, that sort of thing. But for the most part, you don't need it. And audio compatibility, if sometimes uh, you get weird audio ar artifacts, um, you can select this and this turns off all the nonsense in the audio chain between the computer and, and any other weird devices you may have. This kind of cleans all that up if there's some sometimes weird compatibility. Okay, uh, so that's quickly covering the audio setup wizard.